<laughs> no, look, we, we just need to keep chipping away. We've had these starts to the, the season the last two years. Uh, we just seem to be a little bit slow starters. And uh, obviously the, the Portland game is probably the most difficult away game of the season. Uh, so it's just, I guess, again, a case of us coming into training this week, getting our, our team ready for this weekend's game. Well, obviously they've uh, changed their personnel quite a bit, obviously changed the coach. Uh, changed probably the way that they play so uh, tactically we need to make sure we get things right at the weekend if we have everybody fit and healthy I think we have got the the tools to, to win the game uh, it's a, a th as I say I think it's about us tactically getting the right formation set up uh, and being able to execute that no not really <laughs> I don't think you ever get a sense of comfort when you're not winning games we you know, we don't want to start the season slowly, it's not our, our intent. Um, and it's easy for me to say, you know, we've had a, a lot of disruptions, probably more disruptions than other teams, but that's, you know, that's me, that would be looking for excuses. We need to, you know, get focused and start winning games. Um, because you, you can't always guarantee that you're suddenly going to go in the second half of the season sort of unbeaten for eight or nine games. So uh, it's important to us, to, again, to put last week's result behind us and get focused on this week. Yeah, I mean, those are the things that can change games. You know, we score there and go 2-0 up. Obviously, the, the game's a little bit different. The, there's always a sense of frustration when you're not winning. I, I think uh, there are some things that we can that we can do better uh, individually and as a team that can, that can help us perform better, that are not necessarily major tactical things, but uh, those are those are things that we need to, as I say, just keep coming in and working, working at uh, day in and day out. Well, I think you know if you looked at last season, she was probably one of the best, if not the best, midfield player in this 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 competition. That's what she brings. <laughs> it's as simple as that. And um, you know when you're missing two or three quality players, it, it does make a difference to your team. But in saying that, we still feel that we've and we've said it. I've said it from from day one that we feel that we've got a, strong, a squad that's, that's strong enough to be very competitive in this league. And regardless of who's in and who's out, you know, we want players to go out and, and perform well enough to win games. Uh, it, it moves was good, moves always, you know, players are players. You, you've got to get up and get ready for next week's game regardless of, of results. They are a little bit tired, you know, it was a bit of a, a very uh, long, tedious journey back from, from Portland. So the players obviously, they're a little bit tired. But the atmosphere and the environment is still very positive. Not really. No, I think um, we go into every game with the, the intent of trying to win the game. And in this league, there are no easy games. Every game's tough. And if you look at the, the competition at the moment, you know, there's, there's virtually, in, in games to games, there, there's virtually nothing separating the teams. So um, we're expecting a game at the weekend to be as tough as last weekend's game at Portland. I think games at Portland are ones that we want to win at some stage. <laughs> to be honest, I really, it really gets frustrating going out there, and we haven't we haven't won the games out there, but we've we've gone close in most occasions. Um, it, it's really, as I say, it's hard to separate games in this league. Portland's a very difficult place to go and, and play and, and win, simply because of the environment, the travel, and a whole range of other issues. But every game in this league. It's a tough game whether you're playing it at home or away. No, no, she was back and she completed most of the training today. So uh, she should be, touch wood and everything going well enough, be available for selection at the weekend. We just have to be very cautious with players at this stage in the season and particularly at a time when we're lacking numbers that you can't afford, we can't afford to take risks that could put players out for several weeks. Yeah, it was great for us to make a debut. I mean, it's always good to see young players getting opportunities in the league. I mean, what Abby gives, and, and the reason that we put her on at Portland, is a, is a physical presence. She is, you know, athletically very strong, very powerful, um, and she's a kind of player that in this league can go in and, and really mix it up against the opposition. Um, and the, the Portland game, that was something that we needed, and, and I thought she equipped herself herself very well. Yeah, very excited. It's always good to get, you know, players, particularly key players, back in back into the group and that gives everybody a little boost so you know they'll be back hopefully just after this weekend's game and touch wood that they all come back fit and healthy no, I, I think it's anything just get a goal one strikers get a goal then then they usually get on a roll and and what you've got to remember is that you know yeah i don't think you can compare pre-season games uh accurately to nwsl games to be honest and i think um 
you know, once we get into the NWSL, things are a lot tougher, particularly for our strikers. And um, you know, it's just a case of her, I think, getting that first goal. And once she does that, you know, like most strikers, confidence will come and, and she'll start scoring more goals. What's yeah, it? I'm probably still in the 70s, so the 90s nights are probably a step up for me. Um, it's, uh, <laughs> I might need to get a new wardrobe. <laughs>